So Jordan Childs, the 18-year-old from Vancouver, Washington. I asked, you know, how long has your daughter been in gymnastics? And I'm like, 45 minutes? That's when the whole Biles and Childs thing went viral. I'm sure she's learned a lot from her teammate, Simone Biles. It's very hard to push yourself to the next level when you're by yourself. And you know, in 2017, silver medal in the all-around, she was left off the world team. Something just clicked off. We tried to fulfill her dream to compete at the Olympics. Do you want to continue on this road or do you want to drop back? I'll never forget it, she said. I had to prove something. Jordan, what are you doing? Okay, because after I want that eight to be here, I don't want that here. Come on. In Washington, I was the only elite athlete for a while. I was by myself. It's very hard to push yourself to the next level when you're by yourself. She really wants to give herself the, the best chances to, to, to fulfill her dream. Her coach, he said, I want to be selfish and I want to keep her, but I have to do what's best for Jordan. And I think that you guys should consider transferring to a gym that can take her where she needs to go. I talked to Simone and was like, what do I do? What if I just change everything, my, the state, the, the gym, the people? Doing something that would help me become who I know I need to become. When I first, first came, we came to that afternoon practice and I was just like, this is crazy. I'm not just coming just to say hi and show some skills. I'm actually here and my journey begins. Legs. Your legs come apart big time. She trusts us to have her best interests and she knows she can tell us pretty much anything, uh, how she's feeling. As long as you trust your coaches and you trust your athletes, the rest just follows. So you have Laurent who is like... This, yes. This. He can be a dad sometimes. But Cecile, on the other hand, oh my gosh, Cecile, she, she's somebody that you can go to and tell her what you're feeling and she will try to help. Yeah, watch you switch sleep. You switch sleep still go here, freeze, go, no. It has to keep moving slow, but keep moving. Yeah, those are relationships. They're like another set of parents. Man, oh, so many parents these days. <laughs> I don't want to do this with you. Simone Biles, the GOAT, G-O-A-T, the GOAT. You guys don't know, she's known as the GOAT. <laughs> she is literally my ride or die. She's my best friend, she's my big sister. She's like a mother to me. She's also my teammate. Hey, Simone, Simone, do you want, do you want to go? No? Good job. Having her as a teammate, honestly, is the greatest thing I could ever ask for. I never thought I would end up training with an Olympian, let alone her. But we, we love each other to pieces. Like, she's my, she's my idol, but most of all, like, she will forever be my best friend. Like, truly mean that. Because if not, I'm, I, might have to, I might have to pull up on her one of these days. <laughs> Months ago, perfect, and we come close to competition season, and then you struggle. What is it? Good job to make it, but again, there is no round of back spring. You don't have the nice set, so you're fighting inside that two and a half to really work. You're pulling your head to make it to your feet. 
Because you know you're not going to make it. If you do the two and a half, it's going to be right on your butt. So what do you do? You, you're smart, so you pull the head to bring the center everything forward. But by doing that, you're going to land leg straight like this. What you need to do is on round up the turnover to get more down, to push off your legs and to really stand up higher there, to hit the table quicker and to be able to stand up over the vault sooner. You try, because you make a mistake there, you compensate and then you try to save it after. It's okay on the soft landing, on the hard landing, it's not gonna work. So the excitement around um, her abilities versus like her mental ability, they were just different. So back then you kind of would notice, you know, a little bit of getting down on yourself and, and uh, maybe not having the confidence. But it was in 2017 that things kind of blew up a little bit for her and where we started to wonder if it was something that was, you know, she wanted to continue. I had a coach changed throughout the beginning of 2017 and she just wasn't a good coach at the end of what she was doing. There was an incident. She made a, an international assignment. She had done well enough, uh, but they didn't send her. I had gone through a lot of pain um, throughout the whole situation and when I got um, told what the reasoning was, it was all me but comes to find out it was actually her. Then 2017, the middle of 2017, I found a new coach and she was able to get me through everything that I need to get through, championships, all that. I came second. I was like, okay, so 2018 comes around. Same thing happens. Come on, Jordan. Just tell yourself what you need to be changing, that's all. You screw up, you screw up. At least try to change something. Don't just try harder. It's not gonna work, just try harder. Right out of that 2017 going into 2018, something just clicked off. The devastating part of 2017-2018 was the fact that I was improving to myself who I could be. That was really what was going on. Um, I was letting other people come into my head and making me feel like I was doubting myself for things that I didn't need to doubt myself for. In 2018, I didn't practice at all. Like, I was, I didn't feel like I needed to be in the gym. I didn't feel like I just, didn't feel like I was the person that I used to be. And that's really hard to come back from. I don't understand that you're scared. It's, what is it? It's just, you were doing this. Until like two weeks ago, you're doing perfect. I don't know, I'm not scared. I'm not... Well, you changed. You definitely changed. Because you had no issue doing five almost every other day on this, on your feet, normal, so. Can you do two more or no? She knew that things were getting really tough. And we were like, you have choices and your option is, do you want to continue on this road or do you want to drop back? And uh, she looked at me in the car, I'll never forget it. She said, I had to prove something, not only to myself, but also to other people that no matter what like circumstances you go through, you can push stronger and push through those tough times. I regret doing what I did in 2018 um, because I lost a year. I felt like I lost a year, like a big year. Phenomenal. Vault execution score was a 9.55. Beautiful. Okay, let's move on. The most successful athletes are, they know themselves better than anybody else. And the more you know yourself, the better you become as a person or as a gymnast or as an athlete, whatever you do. So you can, you can plan accordingly to get better every day. And I think this is what she's what she started to be doing, you know, she knows her weakness and she doesn't try to find a way out neither. I think the thing I love the most about Jordan is her ability to just keep pushing even though things push against you and be like, okay, I'm done with that. Let's just, let's put that behind and, and let's just focus forward. 
The transformation of coming to WCC and having Cecile and Laurent as my coaches, still to this day, like I thank them so much because they brought gymnastics back to me. The love of it, and that's something that a lot of people don't have the ability to do, is do something that they love and can continue and have big dreams and enjoy every last minute of it. That's Jordan Childs. <laughs>